right now, uh, demand in Europe is you know way up, the same in the UK and the same in the US. Hi from Blythe Valley in Solihull, and we're today at one of the big success stories of the pandemic, one of the economic success stories at the headquarters of Gymshark, and I'm joined by Ben Francis, who is founder of Gymshark. So Ben, just tell us about your business's experience through the pandemic. Because it's such a rapidly changing uh, time, we've had to adapt obviously very quickly, and I mean priority number one was obviously the health and safety of our staff, so we were, we actually closed all our offices uh, a week before lockdown so by the time the lockdown actually came we were, we were prepared for it um, but yeah it's been a on the sort of back end of the business it's been a huge shift because everyone's working from home I mean even now we're you know we're fully set up for the post-covid world and there's probably out of 450 people you're looking at 15 people in today at most and then on the front end uh, in terms of the commercials of the business it's going incredibly well. So you've seen a big surge in online demand through it, haven't you? Yeah, demand has surged and I think that is around more people into fitness, more people are working out at home, more people are cycling, more people are running. Um, I just think more people are trying new and different ways to uh, stay fit. So it's brilliant news that your business headquartered here in Sile has been able to respond to that. And just have you had any practical difficulties in terms of the dispatch, the warehousing? Because all that had to be done safely as well. Yeah, so obviously the, the amount of uh, orders that we can uh, dispatch per day reduced uh, massively because we needed to make sure that health and safety was at, uh, an utmost priority. So obviously that slowed things down somewhat, but we managed it really well. We've got several distribution centres all around the world, so we just managed to sort of leverage that yeah, in the right way. And did you see any difference between what was going on in the UK and other parts of the world? Yeah, so at the start, when things were at their most sort of crazy, we saw demand in Europe actually drop rapidly because I think they went into lockdown before we did. Yeah. And then that, that sort of happened in the UK and in the US, so we've sort of watched that sort of move around slightly. Whereas right now, uh, demand in Europe is you know way up, the same in the UK and the same in the US. Brilliant. And in terms of investment going forward, as uh, this is a rapidly growing business, incredible success story, which you, know, you always take great pride in and congratulations. But yeah. does this mean your confidence still going forward with your investments? Oh, 100%. I mean, if anything, we're investing even more heavily. We see this um, as a great opportunity to get more people into fitness. So from a front-end perspective, we're investing heavily. But equally, whilst we're investing in the brand, we want to invest in our local community too. So uh, we donated £180,000 to the NHS, uh, the Birmingham Women and Children's Hospital, most specifically. Uh, we want to support our local community too. And you got us all sending selfies of what yeah. we called sweaty selfies, which were not very edifying, but yeah. it was a great community activity that everyone got involved in. There's a lot of people here from the West Midlands, and it's so incredibly fulfilling to be able to support the, the local community as we continue to grow. Well, it's a brilliant example of a business that's done incredibly well and the difference you've made to the community, not just by employing people, but also through all the generosity that you've shown through this. So thank you for what you do. Yeah, thank you.